Happy Monday. Wayne Sutton here at theprofitshow.com, thesecondadam.com. I want to say thank you for jumping on board with us. Today, we're going to talk about how to live, be in that place where we can be used by the Lord. We can be used by the Lord even though we may have fallen. Even if we haven't lived up to the full potential, we can still be used by the Lord. Amen. Do you want to be used by the Lord? Hallelujah. That's why you're watching this video. Do me a favor, guys. If you haven't signed up yet, go to theprofitshow.com, theprofitshow.com, and be sure to put your name, email address that you receive these daily updates, all of our free resources, and so much more. Today, we're going to jump into John 21, 15. John 21, 15. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs, feed my sheep, feed my people, take care of my people, comfort my people. What has God spoken to you? Lord, you know I love you. What has he said to you? Teach my people, minister to my people, house my people, care for my people. What has he said to you? See, here we see what he is saying to Peter. You know, we think about the death of Jesus. They, they definitely were in a place of uh, sorrow. But then Jesus is back. He's back. And they're saying, Lord, he's saying, what would you have me do? What would you have me do? And he says that by saying, you know, I love you. And I'm, I'm, let me say, when you say, Lord, you know, I love you, the Lord may ask you to back it up. Amen. Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Then Jesus said to him, feed my lambs, feed my sheep, take care of my people. Amen. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. When you say, yes, Lord, I love you, he may call you at that moment, even as you're watching this. I believe even as you're watching this prophetically, some of you are going to have a word of revelation, a word of knowledge, a word of knowing that this is where God's called you to do, or the people that he's called you to. Amen? Many people say, well, Pastor Wayne, I've gone for 20 years, 30 years. I don't know what my calling is. I don't know what my purpose is. The Lord is asking you this morning as you're watching this, do you love me? In fact, he asked Peter, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. You know everything, Jesus. You know I love you. Amen? And he's saying, feed my lamb. Listen to me, guys. A few years ago, I was in a I was in a place of seeking through ministry. I was seeking, Lord, what would you have me do? And I stayed up that night and I prayed. And I said, Lord, just talk to me and give me a prophetic dream. Give me an understanding. And I, I woke up and I didn't have any dreams. I didn't have any prophetic revelation through the night. And I'm really praying about how do I... Because uh, we're doing a lot of counseling, doing a lot of coaching. But there's a turmoil. There's a price to pay for that. There was a price to pay for that. There still is. And I, I, didn't, I wanted to make sure this is what God had for me. Is this really what you have for me, God? And so I'm, I'm literally, I'm just, I'm praying. I, I prayed the night before. I heard nothing through the evening. I'm praying the next day. And the Lord speaks to me. When I say he speaks to me, I'm in this place of prayer, and I just hear that still small voice said, Isaiah 40. That's all I heard. I pulled out my phone, pulled up the Bible app. <laughs> Amen. Got to love the Bible app. And I said, Lord, Isaiah 40. Okay, what verse? What, where, what, where in Isaiah 40? Where do you want me to be, Father God? What do you want me to one. Isaiah 41 is all I heard. And so I pulled, I scrolled up to Isaiah 41 and it said, comfort my people, comfort my people, says the Lord. I knew then that this was part of my calling to comfort the people of the Lord. Have I been a comfort to you? Have I been a blessing to you? That's what our heart is here at the second Adam. If we're to continue the second Adam, we need to be blessing people. We need to be bringing people into a place of comfort. But just as the Lord spoke to me, that Bible verse, I was expecting 
a visitation from the Lord. I was expecting an angelic visitation. I was expecting a prophetic dream. What I received was the still small voice that led me to the living word of God that said, comfort my people, comfort my people, says the Lord. Just as he said, Peter here, feed my lambs. He was telling me, comfort my people. Now, this is one of several prophetic experiences that I've had that I knew my calling. But there's, you know, at the same time, there's many ways to comfort. So he's talking to you this morning. He's talking to you as you're watching this video. But what is he saying to you? What is the Lord saying to you? And if you haven't heard from the Lord what you're to do, then take time to say, Lord, you know that I love you. You know that I love you. And then tune that ear in to hear, amen, what he is saying to you. As I believe you're going to receive revelation today. Father God, I pray over everyone watching this that they would see and hear, open their eyes and ears and heart, Father God, to hear your voice, your instruction, just as you spoke to Peter here, speaking to their heart. Let them know. Give them that spiritual impartation, hallelujah, anointing, and awaken their identity. Hallelujah, that they, we all may follow you and what you have for us. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, I honor you. I bless you. And I pray this has been a blessing to you. Amen. Just go back. In fact, if you didn't, say, Lord, I prayed it, but I didn't hear anything. Hit the rewind button. Go through it again. Amen. And let the Lord speak into your heart. Just say, Lord, I thank you that you are going to speak to me. As you spoke to Peter, as you spoke to Pastor Wayne, you're going to speak to me. And I thank you for that, Lord. Amen and amen. Guys, I believe in you because I believe in the Jesus Christ that lives within you. Make it a great day. Be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Have you ever thought to yourself, there has to be more? There has to be more in life. Have you ever thought to yourself, I want to go to the next level? Maybe it's a goal, a dream, a ministry, a business, something that you've wanted to start, get involved with. Maybe it's something you're trying to get away from that's just held you back for years. Have you ever said, I'm just tired of being stuck? I want to be unstuck in life. If so, I'm going to urge you. I'm going to urge you to check out our ministry and what we offer here. Personal prophetic counseling. Personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to take you from where you're at and to the next level in life. I want you as a link below. I want you to follow the link below. Check it out and realize what we have here. What we have here is an opportunity to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Literally one-on-one. -on -one. Those who work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we've seen miracles after miracles. You can go to the website, look at the testimonials. There's dozens, probably hundreds by now. And over the last few years, we've seen so many lives change. And the reason is we follow a, we follow a certain blueprint. We have a blueprint, a temperament therapy blueprint, and we are led by Holy Spirit. We know that God has called us into this. God has anointed us. God has called us personally into this ministry to help you, to counsel, to coach, and take you to your next level. So as you're watching this and thinking, is this for me? Is this something that would work for me? I want you to go to the website, read about it, go to the link below, check it out, pray about it. Ask Holy Spirit, is this for me? And if he says no, that's okay. But he says yes, I want you to jump on board. We're going to see lives change. We love what we do here at the ministry. We love being able to work with people. And I want to work with you. I want to work with you. Are you ready to get unstuck in life? Are you ready to commit? Because you know there's more. There's something within you that God's called you to do. A destiny and a purpose, and you're ready to live it. Go to the link below. This is Pastor Wayne. I look forward to working with you. God bless. To be able to minister personally with the pastor of this online church by text and phone, that is amazing. Partnership with this ministry is a great idea. If you're tired of feeling stuck in your life, then go ahead and coach with Wayne. Partner with the ministry and watch your life change. I highly recommend becoming a partner with this ministry. Um, you know, the mentorship program is just the best decision you can ever make. So. Uh...